Hey everyone, I wanted to bring you a video of Kai because I am thinking of selling her and so I thought if I uh, got a video out there real quick then I could at least give people uh, a view of Kai. So this is the second Kai that I've owned. I also had this color in I believe mocha brown. It was a much darker brown. This is ginger brown and um, so let's just talk a little bit about Kai. So first of all, this is the wig. And Kai is a classic bob. Not really angled, maybe just slightly, but it's not an angled bob, it's really a classic bob. And I believe with all my heart that Kai is one of the best wigs for a new wig wearer. As long as you can wear this length, she is fantastic. She is has no permatease at all. She is not poofy at all. She is extremely, extremely flat to the head and extremely sleek. And as someone who has only been wearing wigs for about nine months, I am very close to my new wig wearing roots. I can really remember how much I struggled with wigs in the beginning because they all felt like too much hair, too poofy on my head, looked too much like wigs, and Kai looks nothing like a wig. As a matter of fact, I have never gotten more compliments on my hair than I did when I first started wearing Kai. Uh, it, unbelievable the number of people who came up to me and complimented my hair. It is, she is just such a classic, pretty style that I just, any new wig wearer who's looking for something to make them feel comfortable, I always recommend Kai. Kai, though, does need a little bit of um, training. She is, since she is so sleek and so straight, she really hangs in the face, as you can see. My other one did this too. I'm assuming most Kai's are like this. And so I recommend when you get Kai is that you steam her so that she is trained to go off the face. There are a ton of videos out there on how to steam a wig. And so I'm, I'm not going to go into that right now. I will try to find some that I can link for you uh, so that you can go look at those on your own. That's the one drawback. If you're a new wig wearer, you don't really feel comfortable doing some of these customizations, but she's well worth it. And, and I think if you are going to be wearing wigs for any length of time, you should invest in some sort of a steamer. And the price ranges are all over the board. You can get a really cheap steamer, less than 20 bucks, and you can spend more, uh, get the John Reno steamer, which is great, which is what I have. That's significantly more than $20. So, you know, you can really probably find one for your budget, but it's worth having a steamer. So um, with Kai, I would steam her off the face a little bit. When I get closer, I get too tall. <laughs> Seam her off the face a little bit, and that will really take care of that problem. You can train her with just the heat of your hand some, you know, by getting your hands warm and then pressing, but she is, you know, probably not gonna stay as well as if you just trained her with steam. So a few things about Kai that I love. I think the lace front on Kai is awesome. Uh, absolutely undetectable, awesome. Um, so if you ever wanted to pull her off, and I don't have her adhered, so every time I mess with her, I pull her back onto my hairline a little bit. If you wanted to pull her off with a clip, you could absolutely do that. Um, I'll turn around for you so that you can see. I meant to clean my handheld mirror, it's all spotty, sorry guys. So, I mean, honestly, the length, and look at how well she moves. I mean, she really moves like somebody who took a straightening iron to her hair and just made her really sleek. She's so pretty. So um, let me tell you a little bit about my measurements so that you can tell where Kai would lay on you. So I am from here to here, I am eight inches. So she is just below chin length on me, just below. So my measurement from the hairline to my chin is eight inches. So if your measurement is longer than mine, she might hit you at chin. If it's shorter than mine, she might hit you um, lower than she hits me. I also wanna tell you that my, from the hairline to the tip of my nose is 4.75 inches so that you can get a sense. Um, if you do your measurements, you might be able to envision how she looks on you. Her cap fits me really great. Renee of Paris caps are very comfortable on me. Um, the ear tabs. 
go right here. That's the end of the ear tab. So this is my bio hair. You can see a little bit of my bio hair, which is the case on every wig I wear. This is a good, this is good coverage in my opinion for me. And so I usually try to get colors that will allow me to blend my own bio hair in. Uh, and I do like to tuck my wigs. I am a big wig tucker. And so Kai tucks great. And as you can see, there's just a little bit of my bio hair right there. And so if you're looking to you know, go dramatically different in color, you might wanna keep that in mind and that's the case really for all wigs. So sometimes that's why I also like rooted wigs in colors that are just slightly lighter than my bio hair so that it looks really natural with the rooting. Um, what else can I tell you? Give you a, a couple other measurements. So my circumference around my head is 22 inches. So I'm right at the average side of um, fit, small average, but really about average. But the rest of my measurements are very petite. So while the circumference is average for the most part, the rest of my measurements are pretty petite. I am 11.75 from here to here, I don't know what that measurement tells us. It says ear to ear across forehead. I took notes on how I measured myself. And I found, um, let's see, no, 12 inches from ear to ear. This one's more helpful. So from my ear over the top of my head, that's 12 inches. And I wrote down that average is 13.5. So you can see I'm very small this way, um, which will impact where the ear tabs fit on people. And I'm 14.25 from here around the back of my head. So this is 14.25. Um, I don't have a, a measurement for that as far as whether that's average or what, but from here to here. So from my front of my hairline to the nape, I am 12.75 and average is 14.25. So I'm small there as well, and it does fit me really well. Um, so I would say if you're a large cap, this is probably going to be tight on you. I mean, there is quite a bit of stretch, but I think it'll be a little tight on you. So just, just trying to help you guys out. This ginger brown color is a really pretty medium brown. I wish they would give numbers on these cards so I could tell you what numbers are in here. But it's a really pretty medium brown with some caramel, very subtle caramel highlighting that just gives it dimension but doesn't look like you're, you've highlighted your hair overly highlighted. So... Anyway, this is Kai. I think Kai is fabulous. The only reason why I'm thinking of selling her is because, first of all, I have so many wigs and she's been living in a box under my bed. I've never worn her. And second of all, um, well, the biggest reason is I have so many wigs. But the other thing is I'm, I'm really gravitate. I gravitate now more toward the curly and the wavy styles and not so much the straight styles. Part of that is my husband doesn't love the straight styles on me. And while I am in going to make myself happy, trust me. Um, his opinion is very important to me and I love the curly style. So I already have a couple of bobs. I have Jameson that I've worn a ton of times. I now have Christy by John Renault. And so I, why start wearing this one when I have so many bobs? I might as well sell it at a really great price so another wake sister can try her. So I'm thinking of selling her for about $100. I'm gonna um, think about that a little bit, but that's a huge deal. And so anyway, this is Kai. If you have any questions, let me know. Great, great bob. Super sleek. Hair fibers are, are great. Um, perfect, perfect first wig, I think, for people. Absolutely. Have a good one, you guys.